happens every time the front axle is locked in, it makes this really funky noise and I take turns, even while it's in two-wheel drive. At least it ain't like the Tahoe, where it's all ran by sensors. And it's not like most vehicles where you can take it in and out of four-wheel drive anytime you like. That one, you just directly take it out of four-wheel drive. It makes the front end not take out, doesn't want to disengage until you make a complete stop. One thing about those trucks, with those sensors, they suck. I was looking at LMC truck book about an upgrade from that factory type sensor. It's one where it takes a cable and it don't matter where you're at, you engage it and it automatically engages. No matter where you are at. Which I think is pretty sweet. Yeah, now my window is pretty much all defrosted. Well, even though it's just snow, kind of hoping it completely melts, because I don't want to scrape the damn snow off. And this one warms up properly, unlike our Tahoe, which only goes about two uh, marks above the cold. Doesn't go any higher, like it should, and I'm trying to figure out why it's doing that. So... This is my Ranger. This is why I like driving this one, even though the brakes doesn't work with the traps. They had been replaced. About push clear to the ground just to get to stop, but on roads like today, I'd be slipping and sliding all over God's creation, which is something I hate to do. And I found out I can just. Uh, downshift about first when I'm going to town. Haven't really tried it on the highway. And I don't think I will for a while. So, this is the video on my truck. And as you must know, this will all be one video. It just might seem different parts because the max amount of time this thing can record is three minutes. Okay. We will go try to start the other truck. It ain't like this, or you can just turn the key, or the Tahoe. Turn the key and it starts right up. Uh, yeah, it is it's cold-blooded. I found that out from.